E fam and welcome to Ayo and Ebo Entertainment. So we received a comment from Karim Walker saying that we should do more top 10 facts about different countries in Africa. Thank you so much Karim Walker for such beautiful comments. Guys, if you want us to feature your country on this segment, just let us know in the comment section below. But today we will be featuring a beautiful country in West Africa, popularly known as the smiling coast of Africa, the Gambia. And let me just tell you a secret. I actually speak Wolof, which is one of the official languages in the Gambia, but Ayo speaks better Wolof than me. It's been a long time I practice Wolof, but let me say some words. Nobanala! <laughs> And Gambia, Gambia, Sunyurel. Gambia, Gambia, Sunyurel. Lingengen. <laughs> let me not sing all this, the whole song in just one video. But yes, guys, let's talk about the Gambia. Also, guys, are you not tired of seeing so many negativity about Africa? You look left, right, and center, and all you can see is so much negativity about Africa. If you're as tired as I am, all you have to do is click the subscribe button below and join this family because on our channel, all you see is the positivity. So share this video with your friends and let them join our channel and let's share the positivity of Africa together. Guys, let's talk about the Gambia. The Gambia The Gambia is a country in West Africa and it is the smallest country in mainland Africa. It is so small yet so so beautiful. With just over 2 million people, the Gambia is surrounded mostly by Senegal and the Atlantic Ocean to the west. This country is a wonderful beach holiday destination because of its long coastline. But if you've noticed, I've been saying the Gambia, the Gambia, the Gambia. You know, a lot of countries don't have the article the to their name. But it is called the Gambia officially so that people don't confuse it with the other African country Zambia. So, welcome to the Gambia. Your flight would most likely stop at the Banjo International Airport and you'll be greeted with happy and smiling faces. Gambians are so hospitable. Their country was even nicknamed the Smiling Coast of Africa. One of the first things you would want to do is to change your foreign currency into Gambian Dalasi. You can see a crocodile on their coin. That's because the Gambia is home to lots of crocodiles. But don't worry, <laughs> they don't bite at all. Like, I'm still amazed at how close you can go and even touch them and they won't bite you. I don't know, what are they feeding these crocodiles? Anyway, you can visit these crocodiles at Kachikali Crocodile Pool. All of the most visit places are Kunta Kinte Island, James Island, Stone Circles of Senegambia, and Arch 22. Arch 22 is a symbol of the Gambia's independence which they gained on 18th February 1965. You can find this building at the capital city. But wait, what's the Gambia's capital city? I won't tell you at all. Go and watch our video on Guess the Capital Quiz 
and you'll find out. Next, let's talk about the Gambian flag. As we know, a flag is a symbol of every country. And Gambians love their flag. So, what is the meaning of the Gambian flag? As you can see, the Gambian flag has the colors red, white, blue, and green. Red is for the sun. White for unity and peace. Blue for the river Gambia that flows through the country. And green represents the land. One thing Gambians love to do is to party. Gambians love, love, love to party. <laughs> At every Gambian party, you will definitely find good food, great music, and several colorful attires. Gambian food will never disappoint you. The cuisine is amazing. The staple food of the Gambia is rice. So, most of Gambian food is made from rice. From several plates of Benachin to chicken yasa, ebe, domoda, and a chilled cup of wonja drink, you would want to go back again and again to Gambia just to eat the food. If a Gambian invites you to a party, make sure you dress right for the occasion. Their traditional clothes are so colorful and so stunning. You would also want to take your dancing shoes along because Gambian dance is so irresistible and so energetic. I bet you like if you try dancing to Gambian music for some minutes, you would lose five pounds. I think Gambian music will serve as a very great workout routine. <laughs> Anyways, at some Gambian music shows also, you can see the use of interesting musical instruments like Kora and Balafon. Another Gambian event you definitely have to go to is their wrestling. I think you'd enjoy this. Wrestling is their national sport and it is so entertaining. Another national sport is football. Gambians love to watch their teams play. If you have the chance, go for Roots Festival or Kankurang Festivals to watch Masquerade's display. I promise you, the Gambia would never disappoint. It is one of the countries you must visit before you die. To learn more about the Gambia, I suggest you watch Kunta Kinte film. I think you can find it on YouTube. And also, check out our video on top 10 African countries to visit before you die. So, tell me, what are you waiting for? Grab your suitcase, sunglasses, and a big smile. Welcome to the Smiling Coast of Africa. Welcome back friends. We hope you enjoyed this video. So for Gambians watching or for those that have visited the Gambia, please comment in the section below and let us know other interesting facts about the Gambia. And for others watching, let us know which other country we should feature on this segment. Guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and share this video with all your friends. And also go and check out the top 10 facts we made about Somalia and also for more interesting facts on 
the Gambia. Also check out top 10 African countries you have to visit before you die. I'll leave the link somewhere on the screen. Guys, thank you so much for supporting us. We love you so much. Have a great week, friends, and see you in our next video. Peace out.